there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Sao Paulo, Brazil, hence the lovely traffic we have here. And the thing is, when you come to Brazil, you're probably going to visit a bunch of big cities like Rio, Recife, Sao Paulo, things like that, Floripa, you got all these really big, huge mega cities to check out. And the thing is, that can be a bit stressful sometimes, and sometimes you want to see more than just skyscrapers and stuff like that. So what I have in today's video is actually, you know, five smaller towns to check out when you do come here to Brazil, because do you really want to deal with this traffic every day when you are traveling? Probably not, okay? Now to get away from the urban jungle or the urban swamp here in Sao Paulo, there's actually another swamp you can go to in the Pantanal, it's in the southern part of Brazil, and there's a town called Bonito. And Bonito, what it has, it's like an eco-tourism hub, so if you want to do hiking, if you want to do piranha fishing, if you want to go canyoning and stuff like that, they have all this outdoor stuff you can do, and it's all developed for eco-tourist adventure travelers to go there. I've been there a couple times and it's a really cool place to go. And you can actually, um, when you're there, you can actually go and stay in the Pantanal and swim the piranhas. You can stay with locals when you're there too, out in the Pantanal, so it is kind of a cool place to go. So that's why I like going there. Um, it's in Mato Grosso do Sul, so if you're looking for a place to fly into, you fly down there. Now, another thing you want to look at is sometimes you have big cities like Sao Paulo and Rio, and they actually have good places to go that are actually relatively nearby. So if you're in Recife, okay, Recife is a big town in the northeast of Brazil, big city. It's got some stuff to see, but it does have a crime issue there. But there's a couple little small places you can check out that's right by there. One is Olinda, and Olinda is, Olinda is, is a, Linda means pretty, okay? It is a pretty town with a church and a market to check out, and that's a historic town to check out when you are in Recife. Um, so you have that, but uh, south of the city, you have a place called Praia de Galinhas, which is a big resort place, the, the Bay of the Chickens. That's why you see all these little chicken dolls and stuff like that in Brazil. That's from there, okay? So you can go and do a resort or just, you know, just a resort kind of thing or just outdoor the beach kind of thing, which is kind of nice. Third place on my list, Ouro Preto. Ouro Preto is on my list of actually best place to visit in South America for a reason because it's got, it's basically the hub of colonial Brazil. If you want to see historic colonial Brazil with the buildings, the churches, and the grid plants, the cool shops, and all kinds of stuff, this is the place you're going to go. And you can go to different places. You can go into the mines when you're there. You can take a train to Mariana and see another little town. Or you can go to Tiradentes, which is a historical city here in Brazil. So it gives you a lot of options when you are there. Now, a place near, near here in Sao Paulo, you could go to Campos de Jordão, which is basically this village that was modeled off of like Switzerland, Germany, Austria kind of thing. And the thing is, you go there and you're like, wow, you really did your buildings upright and you got all your, the food is steamed correctly. But the best part is when you go there, you'll see the Brazilians all dressed up in sweaters and winter coats and stuff like that, which is kind of funny if you've been living here for a while to see those kind of things. But it's a nice day trip from here to check out. And then back up into the Northeast, you have João Pessoa, and João Pessoa, I love João Pessoa. When I was up in the Northeast a couple of years ago, I just stayed up there for a long time because what's cool is you got the beaches of the Northeast, the Northeast of Brazil, which are fantastic. But the thing is, João Pessoa felt a bit safer than some of the other towns I was at. But what's cool is there's like a lagoon on the inner, inner side. So you get the sunrise, you know, on the, uh, you know, in the morning on the, on the ocean side, but then you get the sunset over the marshlands and kind of stuff, the wetlands going there. And what's cool is there's a lot of places they'll play jazz. So you'll see guys playing jazz there or like right, you know, during sunset. It is really cool and I really enjoyed it. And the thing is, there's tons of small towns you can check out when you are here. So if you're looking for different cities, you know, maybe you want to go to Ilha Grande when you're, when you're going to Rio or whatever, or maybe you want to go to Iguape, you know, go down to the beach area south of, uh, outside of Sao Paulo. Because you know what, you're going to get tired of all this noise, all this stuff, and you're going to want to enjoy some of the more tranquil parts of Brazil. These are places that I really like to go, and there are more, so please, if you've got other little, nice little quaint towns to visit in Brazil, put in the comment section below so we can help out other travelers so they can find some non-snarled traffic places to visit in Brazil. So, I hope this helps you know a little bit more. If you want to know more, maybe the things you don't do in Brazil or the shocks of visiting Brazil, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes, subscriptions. We hope you have a great time here in Brazil, and you will. It is a really cool place. Live from Sao Paulo.